You know, I have a dream. Dream for a brighter future where white and black children can play together? No. It, in my dream, I'm running through a field of like long grass and I'm being chased by a really scary turkey. And it doesn't matter how far or long I run, every time I turn around I can just see the turkey's dark eyes like, glinting back through the long grass at me. Right. I don't think that when Dr. Hing said he had a dream, he actually meant a literal dream. Just an idea for the future. I know that. But I just wanted you to know that I also have a dream that involves a scary turkey. So what did you think of Selma? What an amazing film. Tom Wilkinson, Tim Roth and Martin Sheen all starring together in the same picture. And powerhouse performances from all. Is that really where you're going to start? I'm making a point, Carla. You see, I'm choosing to snub the aspects of the story related to the black character struggle, and in exchange, I'm choosing to only celebrate the efforts of the white actors in the film. Much like the way the Academy, the BAFTAs and the Globes have snubbed this film for other, whiter films this year. Uh Aha, I see. Now first of all, I did not expect to like Selma. It's a slice of American history that I know very little about. Me too. Of course, we all know about Martin Luther King as an icon, a great orator, his speeches and so forth, but as a man, I don't really know that much about him. And I'll admit, I expected Selma to be a preachy and mythological retelling of a figure in history with whom it's politically difficult to examine and criticise. Right, I see. And truthfully, I suspected that it had not been nominated because it wasn't a very standout film, and that the uproar and the throwing around of the word snub was thrown around simply because the film was about Dr. King and therefore should be nominated. Because, well, he's Dr. King. Right. But I was totally wrong. This film is extraordinarily good. It's gripping, it's moving, it's got a fantastic script. A really fantastic script. This movie's been really hard done by in the awards season. It's the one that got away, and I can't fathom it. I have to agree with you. David Oyelowo as Dr. King is absolutely mesmerising. I can't imagine the pressure an actor to take on the role of a figure who means so much to so many people, but furthermore, a person who had a natural charisma and gravitas that Martin Luther King had. But through Oyelowo's performance, MLK is resurrected. When he gives speeches, you're right there in 1964 at the heart of the civil rights movement. It's a really outstanding performance. And we see King as a man, not just an icon and a myth. A man who has to compromise, a man who is self-conscious. Basically a man with flaws that he has to overcome. It's a great characterisation and a great script. But of course, it's more than just one man. And that's a great thing about Selma. King's story and the story of the masses go hand in hand and flow together brilliantly. Absolutely. And this is largely down to director Ava DuVernay, who achieves the near impossible by weaving together a story about mass movement with the small, the idiosyncratic and the personal. And when I say the near impossible, I mean it. Selma has been in development hell for many years and changed hands between a number of directors who could not pull it off. Really? And it was on Oyelowo's recommendation that Duverney was brought on and she's nailed it. But sadly, no nomination in a director category. Unfortunately not. That really is a shame. And it's a weird one to be an underdog. I just can't fathom it. So anyway, what happened? When? In your dream. Oh, uh, the turkey chases me into a really large combine harvester and I get mashed up and then I wake up in a cold sweat. So what do you think it means? I don't know. Don't mess with turkeys. They're murderous bastards. Right.